What's up guys, you join us for part three of our Cape York adventure. If you haven't watched the first two parts, head back, watch them first. When we left you last, we had just finished the Kreb track and spent the night at the Lion's Den with the other few legends. Since then, we've headed through Lakefield National Park and up the PWR and now we are at Chili Beach. Sadly, the weather is not ideal, so we are not going to spend a few days here. We were going to try and get the boat out, but since the wind's so bad, we're going to do the Frenchman's today. We've got a few people joining us. We've got Dan and Katie from The Road Chose Me, as well as Brad and Christy in their patrol. Hang along, because it's going to be a good one. Time to put your air down to the Frenchman's. What is that that you're tightening? Uh, this is the transmission cross member. Oh yeah, it comes loose, does it? Yeah, with the drop box. Ah. The drop box and that moves a bit. So. Huh. Yeah. Just standard missing clunks. Yeah. After just a couple k's, the track turns into some serious washouts, giving the rigs a good stretch. As always, the troop is never shy to lift the wheel or two. Here comes the big GU, making it look like a stroll in the park. Here's Katie in the Jeep. This thing is one flex machine. Sunny days caress our skin, we begin to fall. 
the boys are just trying to pick a line to get us through. A couple of nasty rocks in the way. And you can see it's pretty deep in there. Three hours later. One week later. All right, guys, we're at the Mighty Pasco, and she's pretty full and flying real far. So we've done a bit of a swap around. We got the GU in front now, and we're gonna run a winch out to that side, and we're gonna have a winch on the back to my car. And we're gonna put the GU first, just because it's got the least amount of surface area, and see how it goes. If, if something starts going wrong, we're gonna pull him backwards. Alrighty, so we got Dan with the hook ready to go onto the back of him in case we need it. Dan's gonna do that winch. I'm gonna stand in front and guide. So there are three things that are concerning us about this crossing. One being how deep it is, two being how fast it's flowing because of the recent rains, and three is the axle smashing boulders everywhere that you can't see. So after a couple hours of walking it, we decided to take a higher right line to have the least amount of surface area for the water to push us on. Fingers crossed that we made the right decision. All right, time for the troopy to do it. Troopy's got a lot more body area, so this is gonna be definitely a bit more sketchy. Um, but we're just gonna do the same safety precautions as last time. We've got a winch rope going that way. Dan's gonna be on that side of me, pulling um, in case he need to pull me backwards. So let's, let's hope for the best.
guys, we are finally through the first crossing. That was one intense morning. Just to give you an idea, the first crossing is 7Ks from where we started. We started about just before nine, and it's 10 to three now. That, that was some real slow going, and that crossing was touch and go the whole way through. Anyways, we're on the other side now. Insane climb out of that side. Troopy had a winch up the last little bit. Uh, but we did rain to some people and they said this side's not so bad. So we are in high range and getting some ground behind us. Really hoping to get out of here tonight. We're hoping to get a Bramwell. But that's still over 100 k's away at least. Yeah, yeah. like 150. And it's 3 o'clock, so let's see what happens. And it's 3 o'clock. And we still got another water crossing in front of us. Anyway, here we go. So you've seen how those guys did it through the mud. I reckon I'm going to take the clothesline and go through the water here. There's a, it's a little soft, but then it gets firm underneath. So let's try this line instead. See what happens. Next up is the mighty Wedlock River. This is an awesome place to camp a night or two with camping on both sides of the river. As for the crossing, it's pretty straightforward with a sandy bottom, nothing like the Pasco. But it does have quite a steep climb out on the other side, so let's see how we go.
Alrighty, the mighty wetlock. Definitely a much more straightforward crossing compared to the previous one. But fun's not over yet. They have a killer climb going up this road. It is um definitely gonna I'm definitely gonna get hung up right at the end there. It's definitely gonna be a little wheel lift and a pucker moment. But nothing that we haven't experienced already a few times today. That's right guys, time to air up. We have done the Frenchman. That was one insane track. I honestly thought that it was just two water crossings and a bit of gravel road in the middle, but that was one hectic drive. It's now, the sun's just gone down. We gotta smash it out to Bramwell Station, stay there the night, have a beer, a much deserved beer. Anyway, what an adventure. Alrighty guys, what an awesome track with an awesome bunch of people. That's it for part 3 of our Cape York adventure. If you've enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions, comment below and we'll catch you next week for part 4 as we finally hit the old telly track. Cheerio!